So, you want to bag your BMW E30. Hello and welcome to a new video guys here at Fitment Engineering, Fitment TV. And today we have a very, very lovely BMW E30 owned by one of our good friends, Kuya Carl. And it's ready to be cataloged here in our catalog video. So you want to bag your car. Alright, this video will be applicable for the E30 sedan, E30 coupe, and of course the E30 touring. Touring means wagon as well in Europe. And we're going to discuss how simple this car is. Okay, this car is really simple and it's a really, it's a very advanced car for its age. If you're familiar with the E30, you know what I'm talking about. But that's not what we're going to discuss today. We're going to discuss the front suspension, the rear suspension, the system layout of its air suspension, and before anything else, please like and share the video. Subscribe to the channel, it really helps. Hit the bell icon for the notification. We have hit 20,000 subscribers. Thank you so much for your support. If you like what we do here, stay tuned. We're going to discuss okay, the under chassis part of this video. Lend me your ears as we dive in to the technical details. It's gonna get educational. It's gonna get it's gonna get technical, but educational. So I'll see you there in a bit. Hello and welcome to the front suspension of the BMW E30 wagon, where we are actually meeted with or greeted with a McPherson type strut. The BMW E30 wagon video na ito is for the touring or the wagon, but it is actually applicable for the sedans and also the coupes or the coupes. So what we have here is a McPherson type strut and we actually used our this is actually a fat double this is a 5814 fat double bellow bag yung tawag namin fat bag or the double bellow fat bag. It's a 5814 airlift bag that we actually used. It's spacious enough to cater a big bag actually. And then we followed the hose lines lang. The hose lines routed there, kasabay ng brake lines. Okay? So anything to note on the front suspension of the E30? Wala naman masyado. It's actually really spacious. I'm gonna go around it, okay? I can shake my hand on the back. Sobrang spacious niyan. And we are actually using a 5814. If, you, if you're actually familiar with airbags, 5814 airlift is actually really big. Especially when napisak siya. So this is an inline 6 na kotse. So this is why I use the 5814 bag or yung fat bag namin for better lift capabilities para rin tumaas yung kotse na mataas. And of course, for it to, you know, lift the inline 6. Other than that, anything to note? Wala naman. Uh, very simple suspensions. Less parts. Very basic. Napaka straightforward ng E30. So one thing to note pala when you're gonna remove this shock Yun lang, yun lang talaga medyo mahirap sa E34 and E30. Pag kailangan mong kalasin yung shocks, kalas yung buong preno. Part ng preno yung shocks. Yun lang. That's the most difficult part of it. Other than that, that's pretty much it. Let's go to the rear suspension of the car and talk about the rear suspension of the BMW E30. Hello and welcome to the rear suspension of the BMW E30 where we are meted with A. Trail arm independent rear suspension where we actually have an A-frame here. Actually, yeah, it's an independent rear which actually makes this car really nice. Medyo masikip. Our clearance is a bit tight. We are going to show you which bag we use. This is actually a 2S 3200 if I'm not mistaken. Or we call it the flat plate. We call it a flat plate slim bag. Okay. Our terminology is for our boys. Uh, if we say the product numbers of the bag, medyo nakakalito. So we just call it a flat plate slim bag. Okay? Double bellows. So we're using the flat plate because this A-frame arm, yung trail arm na to, it's not really a trail arm, sorry. A lower control arm na nakabolt sa gitna ng body ng kotse. I don't know if it's a multi-link, but I, I don't know what it's called. Basically, it's an A-frame here na connected yung gitna sa, gitna, sa body. And... When this bottoms out, it really can kiss this top part of the suspension, this chassis. So, we, it's nice to use a flat plate because when you air out the car, you can maximize that drop. When these two plates hit each other, the drop is really insane. The shock is really, 
going to bottom out. And I forgot to mention this is a divorce suspension layout. A divorce suspension layout is magkahiwalay yung shocks and spring from the word itself, divorce. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Clearance is pretty much on the tight side, but nothing that we can't handle. So, if you're going to... If, you're not, if we're not going to build your car, better show this to them. It's quite close to the axle here, pero inside, medyo maluwag na siya. Or there's more space. That's going to be it. There's nothing much to discuss. Key points. Uh, very, very... Uh, a very, very tight clearance. A weird A-frame lower control arm. We have to use a flat plate and malapit sa axle. That's it. Let's move on to the system and talk about the layout that we that the owner chose for this BMW E30. Hello and welcome to the rear layout of the BMW E30 wagon where this is actually the location na pinili ng may are where the owner chose it on the spare tire. So as you can see, the spare tire area is actually deep enough that it will accommodate the whole system. So the owner said, oh, just sacrifice the spare tire, it's fine. Because he's not gonna drive this car every day or in a long drive. It's gonna be in the city or Sundays lang. It's gonna be a Sunday car. So it's okay lang na we sacrifice the spare tire. Okay? I'm not sure if this layout is the same for the coupe or the sedan, but this is what it is for the wagon. Okay? This is a touring version of the E30. I'm not sure if it's going to be the same for other cars, but here, nevertheless, here it is. So the owner actually availed our Fitment Engineering Gen 4, or the fourth generation of the Fitment Engineering Management System, a 3-gallon tank, and a Viair X444 series, or the 444C compressor ng Viair. This is actually the best bang for your buck when it, when it comes to pumping capacity and power consumption. What else? That's pretty much it. There's nothing more to discuss. It's a trunk layout. It's very simple. Then you put it down. Everything will be hidden. And you can stow away your parts or your groceries in your trunk when you're done. That's pretty much it. Let's actually bring down the car and let's discuss the final thoughts about the BMW E30 wagon. Alright, for the front suspension, or sorry, for the front fitment of the car, as you can see, uh, this is actually what size of wheel ba? This is a 16-inch. It can actually go 17-inch or 18. Actually, it can fit an 18-inch on an E30. It's going to be wild. But I think the owner is just going to go for a 17-inch. So we can close the gap on the fender wheel or the gap with the, between the fenders. And then, yeah, you should probably put better tires so we can poke it out a bit. This is actually a very nice heart G wheel. Yung center cups pala nito, babalik pa namin. And then, yeah. That's my suggestion for the front fitment. Let's go to the back side and let's actually discuss the rear side. For the, for the rear fitment, okay, as you can see, it's tucking at 16s. Put an 18-inch on that, it's gonna tuck even well. Put the 17-inch, it's gonna look really good. So, ang peg ng mga gantong BMW is a tuck fitment on the rear. And they're rolling with a tuck fitment. We can actually, Andre showed them the BMW E34 that we did together. So that's how it should be. This is actually a baby version of that car, the BMW E34 wagon that we did. So that's, I'm pretty, that's why I'm pretty happy that we were able to build this E30 wagon as well and to be added in our catalog. So yeah, uh, there's not much to discuss on the fitment and the rear. Just tuck it and that's it. Super poggy. okay? Let's move on to the conclusion or the final thoughts, final words as we end this video. Okay? So that's going to be it. Okay, we have discussed everything so far. Front fitment, rear fitment, front suspension, rear suspension. Hope you like this catalog video. Hope it helps. Hope it educates you on how we do air suspension for your car. If you're an interested customer or a client or an inter interested viewer, this is how you want. This is how to bag your BMW E30. So, the common question I always ask in this show is, is the BMW E30 a good stance car? Yes. The BMW E30, there's pictures in the internet of slammed sedans, coupes, and of course, wagons. E30 is one of the most simplest, you know, simple but advanced car on its era. If you have a budget to get an E30, it's worth your money. I really think so. Okay, that's going to be it for now. That's all the time we have for today or tonight. It's been Cal for Fit Engineering and you're watching Fitment TV. Please subscribe to the channel, it really helps. Hit the like button, 
hit the bell icon for the notification, and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye!